So how do you connect with the top people in your industry? Um, my name is Benji Bruce. I'm with Speaking Lifestyle, obviously. And for the longest time, uh, I've always wondered, like, okay, how do you connect with the top guys in any industry? And this is a very simple way, a very elegant way to do it, to connect with the top guys in any industry whatsoever. In fact, the longer they've been in the industry, the, the easier this is going to be for you. Um, I was listening to a podcast with Jay Abraham, and uh, if you don't know who Jay is, he's like one of the top marketing guys in the world. I mean, this guy's freaking good. And so I was listening to it, and on the podcast, he was talking about how how he's not so good with technology, and and how he he's just not good with technology. It's of course he's going to learn it and he's going to get better at it, but he's like, ah, I'm not good with it. I've heard this from multiple people, multiple guys who've been in the industry for a long time to where they're like, yeah, I'm not really good with the technology stuff and, and all this thing. So I thought to myself, like, man, I could easily show these guys um, how, to, how to do this stuff, like, like easily in my, in my sleep. And that's when it hit me. I was like, man, if I wanted to connect with these guys, what I would essentially do is I would approach them and say, look, you don't know how to do this technology stuff. I can set up the whole system for you. I can set it up and we'll, we'll exchange like this. So I'll figure something out. Look, I'll set it up and then uh, you give me like an hour of, of your time to consult or, or whatever. Uh, but basically, uh, this, it wasn't just Jay Abraham who said that. It was multiple speakers who have said this, not just speakers, but a lot of people who have been in an industry for a long time. When new technology comes out and a guy, let's say they're making $10 million, uh, they've already made their money and something new comes out, they're less likely to do it simply because what's been working still works for them. It may not be as good, but it still works for them. So they're less likely to jump on to the new stuff, where, whereas the guys who it, it, nothing has worked so far, they're willing to try anything. So you're going to get good at, at webinars and all this internet stuff versus a guy who's been around since the 1980s, he's not going to be as good because it's not, he's just not used to it. So if you approach these guys and you say like, hey, I'm good at webinar, webinars, I can set up the whole system the webinars with the automation and all this stuff. I can set it all up for you and take your content from your speaking and take it and do all this stuff. And then as long as you do this, I mean, I really don't recommend just doing it for free. Um, I recommend you get something out of it at least. I mean, either you split profits or or maybe you, you get some of their time to where you, you get coaching from them. But basically, think about it. Whenever new technology comes out, you figure out who doesn't know how to use it just yet, who's very successful that I want to talk to, who doesn't know how to use it. And then you basically say, I'm going to do it for you as long as, and then bam, you, you set something up. So uh, new technology basically means new opportunity for you. So that's how you connect with guys who are essentially untouchable in an industry.